What's up guys, welcome to this episode of Mike Life. Today's the day we're gonna do that video I was talking about on my wife's Volvo. We're gonna get it prepped up and ready for a ceramic coating. And here is the Volvo. So we got the XC90 here, it's a 2020. So products I'm gonna use in this video, I'm gonna do it the way I did my filthy car wash video, where there's gonna be a lot of music in the video, but in the video I'll be talking about also the products that I'm using on the vehicle. So let's start off by cleaning those rims and tires. So the products I'm gonna be using is some wheel and tire cleaner that I got here. But what I've done here is I've put it inside my IK spray foamer. So I'll be spraying foam on the rims and tires and then cleaning away. So enjoy the video. And there you can see how brown the tires got. Definitely gonna need two coats of cleaning. Now that everything is nice and clean, I'm gonna use some rim protection. I'm gonna use some Gion wet coat. So basically, I'm just gonna spray it on there. Make sure to get it inside the inner barrels. Then you're gonna grab your pressure washer and spray away. You can see all the water just beading on there give it some protection, make it hydrophobic, very nice. Now that the wheels and tires have been cleaned, I got my MJJC Foam Cannon Pro version two here. Got water about halfway. Inside here, I have about two ounces of some simple green heavy duty degreaser, which I'm gonna pour in. And I'm gonna mix it with some of this stuff here that was sent to me. I did a video on this, just an unboxing, but today I'm gonna be using it, the Avalon King. This is the prep shampoo. Obviously we are prepping the car for a ceramic coating. So let's get some soap inside there. All right, that should be good. Put the top on, give it a little shake. Got it ready to go. And I did not pre-rinse the car. I want the soap to be on there. I don't want it diluted with water on the car. Just let it sit there, agitate everything, and then we're gonna rinse it off. All right guys, I got the car rinsed off. Now, this is the part where you would do like an iron remover. I've already done that. I did it last week on the car because I did some sort of prep on here. So we're not gonna do an iron remover today. But now what I'm gonna do is snow foam the car and then I'll be doing a contact wash on it and a rinse. And 
you can see that the snow foam that's on there is very thin. That's because I'm using that prep shampoo. It doesn't create a lot of foam, just cleaning power. Now that the contact wash is done, we will rinse the car off. And for those curious, there's my pressure washer, brand new pressure washer that I got installed here. This is the AR Blue 630 total stop system. Those are all the custom uh, fittings that I put on there. Hose reel. Yeah, everything nice and set up here, looking good. Full, I'm gonna do, be doing a video on this whole setup, talking about it and letting you guys know about all the fittings, what I used and everything. Now that the car is all rinsed off and ready to go, we're gonna do some clay luber. I got this stuff here, it's from Chemical Guys. Love this stuff, it smells nice. I've already done a clay lubing on this car, but there are some spots still, like right here on the bottom, that feel kind of sandpaperish. So, you're just gonna spray product on there. And then, I like using this here, this is from Griot's Garage. There's other products too out there, but I, I kind of like this one here. And I'm just gonna remove whatever I can feel on there. I'll just rub my finger, see if I got everything off. Actually feels good. Feel a little bit up here. Spray a little bit more. It's a nice lubricant and it does the job good. The spray, I like it. Now that the claying is done, I did rinse the car off. Now the next step is to dry the car off. This is my Ego Blower custom tip on there. Lower band tip, very nice. I'll have a link in the description for all of this nice compact setup. All right, let's dry the vehicle. Oh, another thing, there we go. I also got this here. This was from uh, stubbynozzle.com or something like that, where it holds your turbo button down. So all I gotta do is just flip the switch here to turn it on which I'm gonna do right now. All right guys, so I dried the car off with the Eagle Blower. It ain't gonna really do that much. Remember, there is really no protection on here. A lot of the water did come off from the spray wax that I had done a video on a few days ago. So I got a twisted loop gauntlet towel here from the rag company. I will have links down below for everything I'm using in this video. Let's dry off the car. Now I've let the car sit dry. You have to make sure there's no water in the cracks anywhere because when you're doing your polish, the polisher vibrates and it's gonna vibrate the water out from anywhere that there is trapped water. It's gonna just mess up your polish. 
So make sure the car is completely dry before doing a polish. This is what I'm using, some Sonax. This is the perfect finish. I'm using the Avalon King microfiber towels here to remove the polish. And this is the pad that I'm using. It's a Rupes, the DA Fine, the yellow pad, five inch pad. And I'm using it on my SPTA cordless polisher. And for those curious, this is from Griot's Garage. Grab my Sonax polish, make sure you shake it. Grab your pad and put a couple of drops on there. Spread it out. I've got it on the number three. And then we're gonna raise it up to number five. All right, we're just gonna go for a light polish on here. The paint is in pretty good condition. Just wanna boost the gloss on here before we put a ceramic coating. All right, now I got my towel. I'll just wipe the polish off. And sorry for the airplanes flying overhead. As usual, I have no control with the FAA. Ooh, that looks nice. It came out good. Like I said, this is a 2020, 20? Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, right? 2020, yes. And uh, the paint is in pretty good condition. I've kept it in good condition. But there were some light swirls, very light imperfections, and I think I got them all out. And I have to say, this Sonax wipes off beautiful. Let's see there, I don't know if you guys can see that gloss. It's tremendous, it looks good. All right, so now I'm just gonna polish the whole vehicle. I'm also gonna do a polish, or a little bit stronger a polish on the windshield because I wanna add protection on there. So yeah, I'm gonna do the polish on here. I'm not gonna bore you guys to death. You guys saw the process, polishing, wiping off. And then after that, we're gonna do an IPA spray down to get all the oils, the polished oils off the vehicle before we put the ceramic coating. All right, so car has been polished. It is glowing, looking good. So now what we're gonna use is an IPA spray. I'm gonna use the Avalon King one here. It's an IPA prep spray. Like I said, this spray will take off any oils, anything left on this uh, paint, it will take it off you. Cause you wanna have a nice clean surface for your ceramic coating or your wax or whatever it is that you're using for protection. So I'm just gonna spray some on the towel, turn it around and just give it a nice wipe down. Make sure to do this everywhere, the whole vehicle, wherever you're gonna put your coating on. All right guys, now we are ready for the ceramic coating and this is what I'll be using, some Armor Shield Avalon King. Got the bottle here, applicators ready to go. I got some towels here, let's apply it. And make sure when doing all this, always wear some rubber gloves. We're gonna apply some on this applicator. For the first initial time you put it on there, just saturate it a little bit extra on here. So I got it here. Now I'm gonna apply it in a cross hatch section like this. And when you see it start rainbowing, that means it'll be ready for you to remove. And make sure to do small sections at a time if it's hot and humid outside. I think the temperature right now is around 75 and I already see it rainbowing. So I'm gonna do small section, sections. What was I saying there? <laughs> Alrighty, there we go. All right, got that on. It's gonna be patient with it. Put this to the side. And I could see it already, the rainbowing effect happening. So I'll grab this towel here. By the way, this is one of the towels that they provide. I'm gonna buff it off.
Well, it's not really buffing it off. It's more of a, we're leveling it out. All right, and this is a perfect angle because I could see I don't have any high spots going on. There we go. So I know I've done this section here up to where I could reach. Now we'll do this section. And now I'm just gonna apply just a tad on there. Let's open that up. Just a little bit because I already saturated it. Again, sorry about the airplane. So I know my line is right here. So I'm gonna try and go a little bit past to make sure I do grab where I left off. And a little goes a long way with this. So I'm gonna be brave and go all the way down. I could see it's drying out on here. So I need to apply a little bit more. There we go. Now we'll do cross hatch, cross hatch section. <laughs> it's like a tongue twister for me. Make sure we get it all. And if you do have a high spot, just put a little bit, some of the product and apply it on there and just buff it off and it will remove. There we go, I think we got everything. I'll grab the towel and buff it off or level it. And once again, these towels that you're using to remove the ceramic coating, they're garbage after you use them. Do not try and wash them, it won't work. What happens is the ceramic will harden up and it'll create like shards, thorns in there. And if you go to use that towel, it will scratch your paint. Now what you could do with the towels instead is maybe use it for engine work, dirty work basically. But yeah, do not use it on the paint. Definitely do not use it on the paint. Beautiful, man, looking good. Nice, I can see a high spot here. There we go, high spot's gone. And yeah, everything else looks good here. All right, so I will do the rest of the vehicle off camera. All right, guys, the Volvo is done. Yeah, it's a little bit dark in here. I do have the lights on, but yeah, you can't really see it, but this, is glowing. This car is glowing right now. The shine is awesome on here. So the coating's on there. I did one coat of the coating. This should last on the vehicle. This is New York and New York, it's a little bit harsher. The weather, especially in the winter, I would say a year to two years over here. I could probably maybe get it to maybe hit three years because I take care of the vehicles here. So. I would say about two years, but I did everything I was supposed to do. Decontamination of the whole vehicle, did the claying, polish, all the little imperfections and swirls, applied it. Now I do have it under the uh, carport and I'm going to leave it under here for 24 hours. They say at least you need at least 24 hours to cure. You don't want to wash the car for at least, I think it's seven to 10 days. If I'm not mistaken, do not wash the vehicle. Just let it sit and cure. And if it's if you're outside with the vehicle, if you're driving it and parking it somewhere, the best is to park it in the sun. The sun will help it cure even quicker. And if rain does hit the car, you'll be fine. They just don't want you to do any contact washes on here for at least seven to 10 days. So yeah, beautiful. What I'm gonna do here is I'm probably gonna do most likely an update video. Yeah, it did get dark, come on. An update video on the vehicle, probably like in about seven, in about 10 days. We'll do it in 10 days. What I'll do is we're gonna pull it back here. We're gonna grab the pressure washer, which is right behind me, my new setup. Yeah, gorgeous. We'll be doing a video on that soon. And we're gonna check and see the hydrophobics. We'll spray some water on here, give it its first light wash. And then we'll even put a topper on here, which uh, I don't have the topper, the stuff from uh, Avalon King. So I'll be using the Obsessed uh, Garage drying aid on here as like a sacrificial layer of protection. All right, guys, I'm gonna end the video here. If you haven't already, check out my Instagram. There's right there, the Instagram. There's also a link down below for that. Also, leave a comment down below, a like, subscribe. 
It helps the channel out a lot. All right, thank you all for watching this episode of My Collection.